Okay, let's first of all, let's talk about, you know, phases. You go through phases in life and, and different things. And, you know, I made a video about how I was tired of being single. But um, I'm happy I'm single now. Like, real talk. I, I like this this uh, space that I'm in. Um, it's not to say that I'm anti-relationship, because I'm not. If that happens, that happens. If I find the right person, then they just, you know, maybe I'm in the grocery store. And I just, woo. And then I magically hear the music. The bells will be ringing. But for now... Um, I'm very clear on what it is that I need to be doing and just working towards my, my working on my purpose and just executing. I have so much, like literally so many things and lots of announcements to come at the top of the year, by the way, uh, what it is that I've been working on and just focusing on myself and it just feels good. No drama. Hallelujah. I mean, there's a little drama, but mm, Less drama. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Less drama. Uh, and it just feels cool. Like, um, I find myself being more open to just, you know, getting to know people. And just, like, no pressure. That's the best way. It's just, like, no pressure. Because I don't want anything. Um, and I find that to be a, probably a, I don't need anything. I find that to be a hard space for men to navigate when it comes to me. is because I don't need anything from them. And most men are so used to having to fill a need in a female's life and they just can't answer the question. It's a, it's a very simple question that I ask most people that I go on dates with or just get to know. It's like, what can you add to my life? And most people struggle with that. And to me, that's a red flag because I'm not looking for a financial answer. Like, I'm not looking for um, a sexual answer. Uh, you should be able to add, we both should be able to add value uh, to each other's lives. And I know exactly what I can add to somebody's life. Like, boom, I can just list it out. Do, do, do. I won't do that for this video's sake. But most people cannot answer that question. And if you want to be in a boyfriend, potential husband situation when it comes to me, you need to be able to answer that. And there's a certain type of answer that I'm looking for. But I'm not going to give any cheat codes. Sorry. That's not what this video is about. This video is just more so a check-in. It's just kind of like where I'm at. And just giving you guys a little update of like where I'm in the dating space. And you know what it feels like. Uh, what it feels like for me is just being in love with myself. Um, which that never has been a problem. I'll be honest and say that I've always been in love with myself. But even more in love with myself and who I am. And just really being clear about where i'm going where i'm focused like and what my goals are i have so many different entities going on in my business life as well as my music life and then now you know in my personal life as well me being 26 um i don't feel my biological clock ticking so that's something i i'm not in a rush i'd much rather marry the right person than be with the wrong person and have a kid with that person i'm just not gonna just up and have a kid with somebody um so there's that. And then, like I said, I'm more open. I think one of my videos I talked about, you know, specifically wanting somebody who is six foot. That is still a preference. That is still a preference. But, and it, I don't feel like I'm settling for this either. I don't feel like I'm settling for this. I'm cool with a 5'10", 5'11". Like, I'm cool with that. There's some cool guys that I've met in that, that height and that fulfill all of my other needs. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily it has to be over six foot or I'm just not speaking to you. It's just more of a preference. It's just like when it comes to race, like I would prefer to date my own race because I feel like, you know, there's certain cultural connections and backgrounds and stuff that we could just align on and just like be on the same page. But I'm open to dating. I'm down with the swirl. I'm down with the swirl. I'm open to dating people outside of my race. I don't have an issue with that at all. Uh, religion is a little bit more tricky and that's just more so when it's time to get married and have kids I don't I don't know I think that might be a little bit difficult we're in two completely different religions um, so there's that but I am I'm, I'm still somewhat open you know what I'm saying like that's not an automatic no it's just more so of like hmm I don't know if this is gonna necessarily work but I'm, I'm still open to getting to know people like in, in that space Things that I am still not open to is meeting men who don't have their stuff together. So mind you, you don't have to be a millionaire. 
you don't even have to be half a millionaire like <laughs> but you do have to be within working within your purpose meaning that you should be within your career field that you want or at least transitioning to that you should already have the basics like own place own car you know what i'm saying like job like basic stuff you should already have i'm not compromising on that as at all when it comes to dating people who already have prior children, that is a little bit of a red flag. Ding, 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 ding. Is it an automatic eliminator? No. Depending on certain situations, what's the relationship like with the with the kid's mom? How many children are we talking about? How many kids' moms are we talking about? Certain things make that an, an eliminator. But is it an automatic? No. But preference, right? My preference is to date somebody who doesn't have any kids. I mean, I'm only 26, so that's not unre unreasonable right now. I think as I get up into the 30s, that might be a little bit more like, mm, don't know if you're going to find that, right? And there's that. Um, but just having fun. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting to know people, going on dates with people, and having fun. And sometimes it's like, mm, nah, I'm good. But that's the whole point. It's just like, it's a trial run. It's a getting to know you process. Like... Do I see myself going in a second? Nah, nah. Thank you. Thank you for the dinner. Thank you for whatever it is. Like, have a nice time. Like, cool. Like, but being very in tune and very aware of that. And just going with the flow. And it's just like, bro, there's, there's not really a rush. There really isn't. Uh, what I'm focused on is, you know, getting my Corvette C8 next year. Buying my first real estate property next year. Like, you know, advancing what I have going on with my rebrand next year. Like, with music and taking that up a notch. And and making investments. Uh, that's what it's like. I'm not saying I'm in a rush for it. That's the urgency, though, that I feel. I don't feel an urgency to be in a relationship. I just don't. Uh, it would be cool. Is it a requirement? No. I'm, I'm perfectly functional and just happy in my own space and just happy by myself and just clear and just cloud free like oh, just wake up and it's a breath fresh air i don't have to wake up and deal with somebody else's drama amen hallelujah so yeah that's where i'm at um <laughs> i did get a lot of emails and text messages and stuff and people hitting me up and i appreciate all of that and uh in dms and, and a lot of love and who knows, maybe it's your, your brother's cousin, somebody you send my way. I don't know who it's going to be. But if it is somebody, when it is somebody, and when it's time for me to get married or whatever, then that'll be something that I'll share. Until then, Kennedy has no ring on her fingers, any of the fingers. And, um, yeah, and uh, I'm single. <laughs>